Let's go through what we know and what we don't know about the Omicron variant. Number one, is it more transmissible than other variants? It appears to be, George. It has the molecular characteristics that would strongly suggest that it would be more transmissible. It has a bunch of mutations, a disturbingly large number of mutations in the spike protein, which is the business end of the virus, which really binds, particularly in one particular component of that spike that binds to the receptors in your body, in your nose, in your, in your nasopharynx, and in your lung. The mutations would strongly suggest that it would be more transmissible and that it might evade some of the protection of monoclonal antibodies and convalescent plasma and perhaps even antibodies that are induced by vaccine. If you look at the pattern of what's going on right now in Southern Africa, particularly in South Africa, when you have a spike of infections, they are very heavily weighted towards this new variant, the Omicron. And therefore, you have to presume that it has a good degree of transmissibility advantage, which is very likely what is going on right now in Southern Africa and would likely be going on in other countries as it spreads.